HAL's newly developed light utility helicopter captivated audiences with its agility and performance at the Aero India. Hyderabad based VEM Technologies has showcased its 250 km range with once guided rocket at the Aero India. Russia has showcased its product 177S fifth generation jet engine with stealth treated thrust vector control nozzle at the Aero India, and has offered its for Super Shukhoi upgrade program. Russia has offered its 400 km range KH-69 new generation stealth cruise missile for India's Su-30 fighter jets. Adani Defence has pitched the Akshi-7 male UAV to the Indian Navy at the Aero India, which is an Indian version of the Israeli Hermes 650. The DRDO developed Archer NG will conduct its first flight next month, however, the weaponized variant of the Archer NG will be ready by 2028. The DRDO has showcased a new modified version of the Tapas drone model at Aero India 2025, that will be demonstrated very soon. Russia has announced that the first export version of Su-57E has entered production for the first foreign customer, that will receive the first aircraft in 2025. Hyderabad-based Yan Defense Technologies has showcased its next-generation handheld anti-UAV hard kill system. Saab Group has showcased its Gripuni fighter jet at the Aero India, and held talks with India's Chief of Defence Staff on defence manufacturing and technology transfer. French firm Tarles and Barrett Dynamics have signed a pact for the initial supply of Star Street laser beam riding man portable air defence systems with the Indian Army, that will be delivered this year. HAL's HJT-36 trainer has now been officially renamed the SHUS, that has undergone extensive modifications. Russia has showcased its product 177S fifth generation jet engine at the Aero India 2025, and has pitched it for India's Super Shukhoi program. The product 177S features stealth treated thrust vector nozzle, and has been designed for fifth generation multi role fighters. The product 177S has identical weights and dimensions as the existing AL 31 FP engines used in the Su 30, and the product 177S provides a maximum combat thrust of 142 kN, as compared to 122 kN of AL 31 FP engine. The product 177S posts a service life of 6000 hours which is three times that of the AL-31FP. Given the high degree of component commonality between the AL-31FP and the product 177S engines, HAL could transition relatively easily from manufacturing the AL-31FP to producing the product 177S locally. U.S. officials have clarified that the United States is not currently planning to offer the F-35 Lightning II in the MRFA procurement which also involves transfer of technology, instead, the options on the table for Indian Air Force are the F-15EX and the F-16. U.S. officials also said, that if India formally requests the F-35, the matter would be taken up for further discussion, but there is no assurance that such a deal would be finalized. The reluctance to offer the F-35 could be influenced by various geopolitical dynamics, including concerns over technology proliferation. On the sidelines of the Aero India 2025, Aeronautical Development Agency officials have revealed, that all the jigs and fixtures have been completed, and the Tejas Mark II airframe is on the assembly line. The Tejas Mark II rollout will take place later this year followed by its first flight in the first quarter of 2026, and will enter series production by late 2028. They also said, that Hindustan Aeronautics has already initiated manufacturing activities for the AMCA fighter, and the AMCA rollout will take place by the end of 2026, and the first flight in 2028. Today's Top 3 Comments
Oh, Mark, dropped it.